Hello, boys and girls. Today is the day. Today we will do what I promised you since two episodes. We will work towards yellow signs, uh, meaning uh, mostly, mostly ro flying rover frames where we need additional uh, setup for batteries as well as um, electric engines. So for that, for batteries, we need uh, sulfuric acid. We have a temporary setup for batteries down here for our uh, accumulators. And so far, uh, this works somewhat. Um, probably eventually we should move the whole thing up a bit so we can have um, proper uh, entry and exit here. But let's think up here, this square, we will have ourselves a bit of a battery production. So looking at batteries, we need two solid inputs, which means do we have, yes, we can use this here. And probably we will replace uh, this crossing as we are going along. So roundabout we want to have here. And here we probably need to have something coming off of here. the unnecessary parts go one big bit lower and we can do it nicely don't need this don't need that and all the other unnecessary parts are going away and then we can have this set up here. <clears throat> and all we then need to do is uh, replace. Oh. Yeah, this blueprint is still missing the the last um, comparators to control the thing. So maybe we should look for. Uh, yeah, actually, let's copy this one. 
which is the same thing. But has the uh, additional comparators uh, for the logic in there. So all we have to do is set this up and find a way how we can hook up the, the sulfuric acid. So these stations will not be a uh, belt loading one, but uh, battery, battery loading. I hope I spelled that right. Battery with two T's. And that's not what I want here. Get out, get out of here. Oh, and battery delivery. So you go there. Don't need that. And then this is that, that, and this is that. And then here, instead of belts, we have always the batteries, there they are, here as well. I don't think we need those anymore. Because those were for the, for the waiting stations. But it does not hurt. We need to set up the inserters correctly. So here we want to have copper, where we had gears. Oh, apparently I don't have enough stuff. Here we also want to have batteries. 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 And here we want to have copper. And here we have to change to copper. We need the same amount of copper than we need for steel. So that's good. So all we need is some some uh, chemical plants and uh, some more inserters. Then we should be good. At least for the first part. Set up the cargo wagon, set up the train stations. So all that needs to be done here is Setting up the train schedule. 
So this will be, of course, a waiting iron. A waiting iron plate pickup. Iron plate pickup. Iron plate loading. Then waiting copper plate pickup. Copper plate loading. And then battery delivery. Battery delivery. And then we have train fueling. Train fueling goes with a timer of five seconds. Delivery. Empty cargo or inactivity of two minutes. Um, here we have an item count of copper plate. It should be 2000. Because copper plates stack to uh, 1000. And copper iron plate loading. We have of course the same thing for the iron. With 2000 as well right and then we can send this train off oh we missed a few of the filter inserters that were not placed the first time around we have the sulfuric acid in here so all we need now is flying rubber frames for which we have the batteries so we need the electric engines which also require lubricant lubricant we do have um, down here this barrel over here we do have a space for that so what do we need it's another two input uh, setup uh, with this one yeah so i think that's actually make a copy of this name this to input factory version 3 add a bit of a factory in there and the uh, number 2 for the input items create the blueprint store it in the book and actually we want that here but only once and i think i'm out of rails which is not the, the worst thing because then we can place everything else, set up the, the stations and so on and not worry about uh, trains already coming in. So this would then be elect, elect, electric engine delivery and this would be 
electric engine pickup with an item. In the pickup, we always have items. And then here, of course, we have this. And we need this we make to the engines. And then this becomes the green circuits. That's it for up here. Because here we also need to set up the filter appropriately. Um, for engines, electric ones, that is. Engines and engines. And then here. Oh, that's here. We want to have engines and green circuits. Green circuits 1000. That means here we want to have 500. Or we can even say a thousand and two thousand. This way around. Right, and then we shall copy this. that and replace it down here so we have the right settings already in there and then all that I need to do is grab some rails grab some stations and set up at least one train for the delivery with battery and electric motors engines it's uh, actually called out of the way we can turn our attention to the actual flying robot frames and this is the first item that has four input materials and this is slightly uh, concerning as uh, our factories just can take in materials from one side and I think we should stick to that uh, especially as uh, robo frames may take a long time to build and we can combine one input chest with the two materials that we need the least of in that case that would be uh, steel and the electric engine uh, so that we still can uh, have the three input chests with a slightly different setup and i think we will copy just this factory for uh, low density structures um, let's see if we yeah we still have that here uh, and there and 
I would assume that here as well we will need um, two of the big squares because these take 20 seconds the low density structures also take 20 seconds and if we look at this um well we need three times the amount of low density structure so maybe for the start we are good enough with uh, with one square uh, for the flying robo frames but let's build this up and then set up the train stations figure out how we uh, how we deal with the uh, input then as well solar panels and everything else is in and i have three trains for uh, picking up the materials to build the flying robot frames and as you can see here we have green circuits at uh, one and a half thousand then the batteries at 1000 and the electric engine and steel at 500 before we deliver everything here and then hopefully go to fueling and before each pickup we have a waiting station and with the waiting stations for batteries and uh, electric engines uh, we are out of uh, free slots for waiting stations so when we add new things then we probably need to add a new waiting bay so let's send these trains off uh, so that we can get ahead and start producing flying robot frames that we will eventually need for yellow science but i don't think that will be a topic for next episode yet uh, there is so much else to do uh, but i don't want to spoil anything yet you have to wait and see so until then goodbye